Um, also, I forgot. I keep forgetting to check, but... I forgot to check what the explode skill does on his turn, so I can't actually check it anymore, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, well, or I guess we're about to find out, because he's totally gonna die. <laughs> Maybe you feign death this turn? I'm feigning death! <laughs> As if no one saw that coming. As Jordan dies, the bomb explodes! Oh, it hit them, too. But it kind of didn't matter? Well, whatever. We're down two wizards. Uh, no one else actually really needs healed right now. How are we all doing fine? Um... gonna go a lot slower without Alex to help, but we'll see. We'll see. The rest seem to be surviving A-OK. -okay. I don't think this steam guy is long for this world. Yeah. Oh, no. They've got... Okay, yeah. I can see now they do have two health bars. Lingering Soul. Um, but hey, the Lingering Soul. Well, it's stunned this turn anyway, but I can ensnare it because it's not a boss. I can also easy prey it because it's not a boss. Goodbye! Oh, they put it on him now. So they keep that up, huh? That's a bit scary. Okay, well, I'm going to put up Aura of Wrath because they aren't doing that much damage. And I do think we need to get through them, maybe just a little quicker than we are. Alright, so let's see. I guess I should get rid of the physical... Well, you're the one who counters magic, you're the one who counters physicals. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about the Demon of Flame because... We don't have any magic attackers left. Ah, uh, huh. Mm. Uh, yeesh. Well, let's yeah, let's let's get rid of you. We can at least openly attack you without consequence. I'm a little worried about how this is going here. <laughs> Don't want a volley. Don't want a wild shot. You might hit the guy who counters. Siren's call. So, once again, with that nonsense, are we? Uh, you are out of MP, my guy. Guess you're just smiting from here on out. In fact, that means your aura ran out, too. I already gave him that poison. Not that we expected to go into a boss like or fight like this and succeed on our first try, you know. It's just... We'll see how it goes. It's not really a good idea to use the bombs until this magic countering guy is gone. Uh, you... I guess just gonna Gale Shot. Howie. Oh, that one really hurt. Well, we are just totally screwed. Sid, we're not getting through this, man. <laughs> There's just, like, no way. Just no way! I feel like Zephyr and Gale Shot should be special attacks. Does that seem wrong? Is that so wrong? I wonder what happens if I use, like, uh, Feign Death on the turn that's going to explode. Oh. Well, that was the turn I was going to explode. Barely dented Halley, but you know, we're just totally screwed at this point. Alright, let's see what their... Let's see what the guy's counter is like. What's your counter like, guy? Demonic Rebuke. Okay, so every counter of theirs is just they do 666 six, six damage. Let this side wash you away. Let the furnace of the earth take you. See you 
When a demon dies, it leaves behind a lingering soul. If you can kill the soul before the turn ends, you will deny the remaining demons the chance to feast on it. Well, I'm glad I did that, and that the bow person is definitely super useful for that, especially in the position they're in. But, how are we going to deal with these guys? Um, they chewed through my wizards pretty fast. I wonder... Was the bomb an elite effect? I'm willing to bet it was. Let's read what the description says. Uh, where, where, that's not our help and info, isn't it? Demon triumvirate. Hey, guys, fiendish triumvirate. In the... Uh, select... S select it. Okay. In the depths of the volcanic reef, three dreadful demons plot their vile schemes. You face all three at once in this two-face encounter. Technic... Oh, there's... There's more after we beat them. Okay, so the demon of flame strongly resists fire. It's weak to water. The demon of flame will counter physical attacks with demonic rebuke, which deals exactly 666 dark damage to the attacker. This demon will use living bomb every five turns, and demon's claw otherwise. Oh, okay, so we might want to actually get rid of the demon of flame first. Only problem is, the only single target attack he's... Well, no. The only single target magic attack I can get out of my elementalist is fire. Fah. Okay, yeah, Living Bomb is an elite effect. Applies an elite effect to the enemy with the highest magic attack. This effect deals rapidly increasing damage to the victim until they choose to explode, which deals magical fire damage to all allies, including themselves. Demons can... Oh. So it only deals fire damage to everyone. Doesn't necessarily kill them. So it might be worthwhile to just blow up right away. Hmm. Uh... Anyway, Demon's Claw deals massive physical fire damage to a single target. Then, the Demon of the Deep. Uh, let's see, we'll counter magical attacks with Demonic Rebuke. Uh, same as before, I assume. This one's weak to water, resistant to fire. Or no, right, yeah, other way around. Anyway, Demon will use Ocean's Call every five turns, starting on turn two, and Aqua Assault otherwise. Charms the enemy with lowest magic defense. This uh, magic effect. Well, that's not what it's called. It's called Siren's Call. I guess they changed the name later. Aqua Assault deals massive magical water damage to a single target. Hmm. Mm. And then there was Demon of Steam. Demon of Steam will counter all status attacks with red or demonic rebuke. They use Steam Breath every five turns, starting on turn three. And Flyby Strike otherwise. Fly by strike deals moderate physical damage to the enemy with lowest defense, taking over and taunt. Okay, so it goes for people with low deep, and that's why they were always targeting Alex with it. Steam breath deals moderate magical damage to all enemies split between fire and water, and applies scalding. Ah, oh, so that's how that works. This magic effect deals moderate magical water damage each turn, but grants resistance to fire damage. Okay, so that's why the fire guy was doing so little damage, because whenever we're scalding, we're okay. And that starts on turn three. But, I mean, it does do water damage, but we can equip water resistance, can we not? Then in phase two, each demon turns into a lingering soul when it dies. This happens instantly and does not end the turn. The other surviving demons will use Devour Soul to consume these lingering souls as soon as possible. Devour Soul World destroys the lingering soul, draining its HP, and increasing the demon's attack, defense, magic attack, and magic defense. Yeah, that's a consequence we want to avoid. It's not a boss. Feels like magical damage to everyone with Ether Pulse. For as, so long as it lives, that one moment. Well, wait, uh, under what condition would it even get to use Ether Pulse? Because, like, if they're going to devour it the moment they get the chance, that would destroy it before it could ever move. Unless it, like, is fast enough to move first, I guess. Well, it sounds like water damage is the way, or water resistance is the way to go here, and we already had a bunch of that going on, but let me just see. Yeah, you've got an aquatic talisman. You, do you have any, you've got the orb of air, which is not really what we need right now. Um, you could use some water resistance yourself, I suppose, because they're going to be going after you. Um, I guess this isn't super helpful here. I want to get something else. Increases enemy defense. Wait. Generates an item that decreases enemy defense and magic defense. Um. Yeah, what's with this one? Oh, that was the one we found. Because then we didn't buy it. Uh, is there anything? Okay. What do I want to get here? Poison of fear, magic, and curse. 
I guess we might be able to use something to like remove the siren's call or whatever. Hold on, what was what kind of status was that? Do 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 do. Tell me this. Yeah, it's a magic effect. It's magic. Just trying to give you guys things that'll be useful for this. And that's not really useful. Uh, it's useful all the rest of the time. Curse all magic elements. This one does magic and curse. It gives you slightly more magic defense. Whoa. Me. So we've got you some water resistance. You've got some on your this already. In fact, it resists fire and water. That's why you weren't struggling at all. Until they, like, focused on you. Uh, the bombs... I mean, they're nice if we lose all our magic attackers, but I don't intend to. Let's get the other one that also carries a magic element. Uh, you. You have innate water resistance, so I'm not super worried about that. Uh, it couldn't hurt to get some fire resistance on somebody, though, because, like, here's the thing. We can already, uh... Well, we know we're, that he's going to be forced to explode, like, right away. You, and you've got fire resistance in your coat, so that's fine. You don't have any fire resistance. I'm not sure I can get you any. None of these things are going to give you fire resistance, are they? That one grants resistance to air damage. <laughs> uh... Deals fire and earth damage. No, that's not what we want. That one resists dark, but it's no use. Hmm. Yeah, no, it looks like you're just your best. Well, no, you're already best off with the thing you've got. Physical attack costs air and earth weakness. Hmm. Might be worth doing that to somebody, because then Chris can hit them harder. Alex already does the best damage with the other thing. Tell you what, I'm gonna take that off of you and give it to somebody else. Because there's not a whole lot you're gonna be able to do. Like, if this makes people weak to air, and you can't really use your magic attacks to hit or spread moves, that might be for the best. And you can just take... Well, actually, we have multiple stratus. We'll, we'll tighten out. The stratus F wasn't the thing we just handed over. Is there anything else better for your magic attack? Not that it matters, because you're just going to be doing fixed damage this whole time anyway. I don't know why I'm doing this. Do any of these, like, raise other stats besides magic attack? That one gives you health. And you permanently taunt. Uh... And there is other things just to do. <laughs> Good old eternal twin spear. Uh... You know what? Sure. And you even get, like, a focus. Grants the spell mirror skill. Start each combat crackling. We know they're going to be targeting you regardless, but aren't they all, like, physical attacks? Mirror focus is better for your defenses. Maybe I'd go with that. Alright, am I happy with everybody? We didn't really get fire resistance on the people. This resists fire and water, so yeah, that's perfect for you. Uh, yeah, we don't need the bomb, man. Decreases enemy defense, enemy attack, raises defense and magic defense. Raises attack and magic attack. Uh, could be handy. I'm not super worried about the defense. I think maybe the rage herb is what I want to go with. Boost some, get some power on you. And, uh, you're already resisting fire, so you don't need to worry about that. Anything better I can give you? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. We're gonna see what we can do. We're at least a little more prepared. Yeah, I'll look at the description of what the explode skill says. Okay. Um, their damage really isn't much to worry about. I think I want to put up Aura of Healing. 
and we'll just leave it at that. I'm not gonna time warp again. Uh, I think... You're kind of the one who does the most damage, so I'm gonna lower you. There you go. Okay, so let's see. We had done... done well, like, this is physical plus magical. So we can't just do that. Uh, we can give the magical poison to you. You get the magical poison. Well, wait. No, it can't, it, I think it counts as a magical attack, even though it, does, it doesn't, like, you know, whatever. You get the physical. I guess the second thing doesn't count. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little weird. It's a little weird how these guys are. Or how those moves are. Whatever. Soothing Tide. So that's set up on everybody. We'll worry about exploding when the time comes. Oh, hold on. I should use one of the things. So let's see. Here's all magic elements. Here's all magic and curse elements. These are healing things. And this. Raises the attack and magic attack of one ally. Who's going to be doing the most damage? Probably you. Okay. Okay, so now... Um... 